DJ Pro external hard drive tutorial. I'm DJ Spiegelspin and I'm going to show you all about it. One of the biggest questions I get asked when I recommend DJing with an iPad opposed to DJing with a laptop is where do you get your music from because most laptops have a lot more memory than iPads. So DJ Pro actually allows us to plug in a USB storage device or an external hard drive filled with thousands or millions of songs. So this solves the problem of not having enough memory on the iPad. Now when I DJ, I usually use the streaming service Tidal. So there's millions and millions of songs that you could DJ with instantly. And most places where I DJ, has good service and I pay an extra $10 a month on my phone plan so that my iPad has service. So when I go to the gig, I usually have four or five bars and I could just DJ millions of songs with Tidal. But if you don't wanna do that and you don't wanna just rely and on the native storage on your iPad, then it's definitely, I would definitely recommend using one of these USB devices. Now, a lot of DJs that have been DJing for a while are used to having these USB sticks filled with music because if you're DJing in a club environment, then you typically can't bring a controller, you can't bring your iPad, so you would just have all your music on one of these, go up to the CDJs, plug it in, and there you go, you got all your music, and then you mix your music from your USB stick. So a lot of DJs that are used to DJing like that, and now DJ with DJ Pro, wanna know how do I plug it in, where do I find the songs once it's plugged in, and all that type of stuff. So first I'm gonna go over what you're gonna to need to do this. I use a DJ um, iPad Pro with the USB-C connection. So you're gonna need one of these adapters. I recommend this adapter in all my videos. I don't think it's on Amazon anymore, but I'll leave a link to similar ones. And what this does is you could plug it into the USB-C of the iPad, and then it gives you extra ports up here. So Oh, these come in all different ones, all different types. This one I got for doing video mixing, but if you're gonna wanna use the external hard drive, I would recommend a different one, and this is why. Because to plug in the external hard drive, you're gonna plug it in here to the USB. Now it's plugged into the iPad, so USB is plugged into this, then this is plugged into the USB-C in the iPad. Now this also has a charging port, so when you're DJing with your music on an external device, I would def definitely recommend charging it. So make sure when you get these adapters that it supports fast charging so that your iPad doesn't die. Now the reason why this specific adapter wouldn't be that great for DJing if you plan on using one of these devices is now you can't, let's say you have a controller like this and you wanna plug it in, you can't plug it in because there's only one USB port. So I would recommend get a bigger one of these with another USB port port, and you could plug in your controller and you could plug in your music. So now you have all your music on your USB and you can have a controller. But if you don't plan on using a controller, it's fine like this. You just need to plug it in somehow. So now that we're plugged in, where are we gonna find the music on the app? So what's gonna happen is you're gonna go over here and then this is your music section and we're gonna go, we're in my collection. We're gonna go from my collection down past music. It's not in music. Music is the, the music that is on your device. So if you download something from iTunes or you download something some other way and have it on your phone or your iPad, that's gonna be the music that is on your iPad and you could load that into a deck, but you're not gonna find your external hard drive in this section. So to find that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and the streaming services that are offered are Tidal, SoundCloud, Beatport, and BeatSource. So if you wanna go the route with streaming, you could do a free trial on one of these and it's a lot easier and faster than using one of these, but you still can. We're gonna go down here to files. Now this is where it's gonna be. This, this device doesn't have any music on it because I don't DJ with my laptop and I only DJ with streaming service. I started when DJ Pro offered Spotify and I just always only DJed with streaming services. But if you guys have one of these loaded with music or even with videos, you'll find it here into your files. 
you'll go to add files and you'll see the device and then you'll have the whole list of all the songs on your external hard drive and then you can load it in load it in like this and then you could take all of these songs and you could add it to a playlist and now you could add it to a playlist that's going to be in your my collection so now we're going to take the songs from this from this usb because it's not going to be organized in the way you want it to and then you take every song and then you could organize that song into one of these pre-made playlists and then have it in order so i just put that one in this one so it was beat drop it's a song from the usb and now once it's in this playlist under my collection you have the ability to change the order of the songs. So if you have two songs that mix together that are on your USB, now you can put them in order so you know these two songs go together. And then when I mix, I play these two songs together. And every time you load up the app, as long as you made the playlist inside the specific My Collection section, it'll be there whenever you use the app. So all you have to do is go to Files, find your song. Whoops add the playlist and now it's added to the playlist so it's off of here and into the playlist now what's going to happen when you if you try to dj let's go over here if you try to dj with a song when you don't have the when you don't have the usb plugged in let's say you put a song from the usb onto one of these playlists you'll still see the song there but you won't be able to play the song because it you don't ha actually have it. The same thing with songs, let's see if I can find any, that you used to play on Spotify and on these playlists. You'll still see them, but you won't be able to play them. Let me see. You see these songs from Tidal, how it's track not available. The track not, cannot be played because it is not available. So that's the, the message that you're going to get. It's not like once you plug it in, it's going to be installed on the iPad once it's in the playlist, it's just going to be available. So every time you DJ with one of these plugged in, the song will be available to play. So this makes it so if you're not into DJing with streaming music, you have access to all the songs that you would possibly need to have storage for because you could plug in any type, any size USB storage device and have millions of songs. So a lot of DJs are signed up to record pools where it's like you pay $20 a month and you could download as many songs as possible. So that's a good affordable way to get a lot of songs and then you put it on one of these sticks, plug it into your iPad and now you're DJing with all your songs. So if you guys like learning everything you could do with DJ Pro and learning the future of DJing, subscribe to my channel. I make DJ videos every day.